Executive Mosaic is honored to announce Aaron Weiss, Chief Information Officer at the Department of the Navy, as a winner of the 2023 WASH 100 Award. Weiss' selection this year is in recognition of his leadership in planning efforts to translate DON's information superiority vision into tangible action. According to Lt. Gen. Thomas Todd, Deputy Commanding General for Acquisition and Systems and Chief Innovation Officer of the Army Futures Command, bringing these visions to fruition is a journey that requires the overhaul of current processes and the creation of a culture that empowers innovation and efficient iteration. The U.S. Air Force has released a request for proposals as part of the on-ramp process for a potential $900 million multiple award contract to develop warfighter systems while introducing high-confidence programs. The General Services Administration has exercised the option period of five years for a government-wide acquisition contract that federal agencies use to acquire information technology support from service-disabled veteran-owned small businesses. Technology consulting firm Raft has booked a $100 million contract for software development support to the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center's Detachment 12, also known as Kessel Run. The U.S. Navy has awarded Science Applications International Corporation contract options worth $102.5 million to carry out production, engineering and repair work for heavyweight torpedo components. Mary Davy, a 34-year federal service veteran, has joined the advisory board of the Building People. Edward Rice Jr., a retired U.S. Air Force general who was a commander of its Air Education and Training Command, has joined the board of directors of L3 Harris Technologies. Join GovConWire's Events 2023 Information Security and Innovation Forum on February 28, 2023. Visit govconwire.com events. Lockheed Martin's rotary and mission systems business will help the U.S. Navy maintain heavyweight torpedoes under a potential five-year, $91.9 million contract. The Department of Energy has launched a small business set-aside competition for a potential seven-year contract to ensure continued occupational medical services for personnel at the Hanford site.